excited because she hadn't seen the wolf for days. Either something happened to him or he's making mischievous plans. Either way, I'd better check it out. Wolf, are you inside? But there was no sound inside. Stylish was a little worried because she hadn't seen the wolf for days. Either something happened to him or he's making mischievous plans. Either way, I'd better check it out. Wolf, are you inside? But there was no sound inside. Wolf! Then the door opened by itself. Wolf, are you inside? Stylish, is that you? I did not hear you come in. What's wrong, Wolf? You don't look well at all. Uh, I'm so sick, Stylish. Wait, I'll make you some soup right away. Come on, you should be in bed. Really? You'll look after me, is that so? Of course, Wolf. That's what friends are for. He was about to fall asleep when... Wake up, Wolf! Wake up! Your soup is ready! It would be great if I got some sleep. You'll get to sleep, but first eat the soup. Open your mouth. Open your mouth wide. Yikes! This soup is so spicy! Wolf, this soup will make you better. It warms you up. Come on. I won't. I... Uh... Wolf, I'm telling you, open. Mommy! Ah! Come on again. If you want to get well soon. The wolf's mouth got burned and he ate all the soup against his will. Okay, you can go to sleep now. Water! What? Give me water! My mouth burnt! Sure, water is very good for you. Let's drink it. But this water is hot! You're not supposed to drink cold water when you're sick. I did not ask for cold water, but this is hot! Wolf, don't whine. Drink it all now. Go to bed now. Get well soon. The wolf was finally able to fall asleep when suddenly... Wolf! Get up! Eh? What? Uh, what is it now? Get up! I'll put a towel on your back. Why? Because it'll absorb the sweating. Fine. Do it now and leave. I want to sleep. It'll keep you warm. Can I go to sleep now? Of course, you need to sleep so you can get better. Okay, I'm going to sleep now. Yes, you should. Look, I'm going to sleep. Yes, go to sleep. At first, the wolf had a sweet dream of running on the warm sand. Then a storm broke out and the wolf began to freeze. when he awoke to see... Stylish! What's wrong, Wolf? Nothing! Nothing! I'm breathing! I don't have a blanket! Patients with a fever shouldn't be heated, Wolf. You have one, so you need to break that fever. <laughs> what I have done to deserve this? I want a blanket! No blankets! But since you're awake, a cold shower will be good for you. 
Sh 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 shower? Uh, I, I took my last shower when I accidentally fell into the river last year. <laughs> I, well, wolves do not take showers. I don't want to hear objections. Come on. I don't want to. Come on. Stylish filled the bathtub with cold water. I guess it wasn't such a bad idea after all. I'm... I'm feeling a little better. You see? It was for your own good. Get well soon. Uh, I've been a little unfair to you. Thank you so much. You don't need to thank me. I'm staying until you get better. Come on, let's get you dressed up. Dress up for what? I don't dress up. Wolf, don't dress up. Besides, nobody's coming to visit. Oh, Wolf, you're doing it so you can feel better. You do it for yourself, not others. Come out now. In the end, the wolf did what Stylish said, as he couldn't convince her. La 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 la, you look great, Wolf. Don't you think so? Great. This is really great! I knew you would like it! Can I go to sleep now? First, you have to drink the water with honey. Huh? With honey? Okay, I'll drink it! <laughs> what is this? Water with honey! There's a little bit of black pepper too! Black pepper? Enough is enough. Get out of my house. I'll take care of myself. What a pity. Your fever is high again. What a pity. You think I'm a bad friend? Please, please leave. I can take care of myself. But Wolf... <laughs> I won't drink iced water when there's a drastic temperature change and I make sure to wear a jacket in cold weather. Good for you. Now go to sleep. Should I go to sleep now? Yes, you should get some sleep. And you won't wake me up, right? Why would I do that, Wolf? You need to sleep so you can get better. The wolf once again goes to sleep. But... Wolf, get up! Let me change the towel on your back. Uh, help! Help me, please! Help! A few days later, the wolf recovered and he went to the farm for a visit. Oh, it feels great to be healthy again. I need to talk to Stylish and give her a piece of my mind. Stylish! <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. I'll take good care of you. Let me make a hot soup first. Get well soon. Rapunzel woke up to a beautiful morning and she planned to make a delicious mountain blueberry cake. Rapunzel was about to start picking blueberries when one of her good friends, Athlete Goat, approached her. Hello, Rapunzel. Hello, Athlete. How are you? I'm so excited. Why are you so excited? I'll be participating in the tournament organized by your kingdom. That's great news. But I need your help. Of course. Count on me. Um... I'm not sure whether the tournament includes running, swimming, or weightlifting. So can you help me train for it? Sure. But first, can you help me pick some blueberries from my cake? Yes, of course. Athlete and Rapunzel came to the edge of a cliff. Here are the blueberries. Oh, that's pretty steep. By the way, you have to pick them one by one so the cake can taste good. One by one? Yes, otherwise they'll be squashed. 
Got it. Let me start right away. Athlete wrapped Rapunzel's hair around her waist. Then she climbed down the cliff's wall. Got a blueberry and climbed up. How many more do I need to collect? Five? Ten? I think sixty would be enough. Sixty? Come on, we don't have much time. Okay, okay. Athlete took a deep breath, although it was challenging. She was able to gather 60 blueberries. Oh, that was exhausting, but I made it. Thank you, athlete. Let's talk a little bit about the tournament. Sure, but first I have one more request. What is it? Look, my hair's tangled. I need to untangle it. It's really knotted. Let me help you. You can do it alone, right? So, while you do that, I'll write a letter to the neighboring kingdom. Athlete wanted to prepare for the competition and found Rapunzel's request untimely. However, she did not want to break Rapunzel's heart. Unfortunately, the long mane was so tangled that it took Athlete until evening to disentangle it. Let me pass that hair over here. If I take this from there, and this from the side... Finally! I'm done, Rapunzel! It's really done! Can we go back to my question now? What sports will be in the tournament? What will I do? Sure, athlete, but you haven't combed my hair yet. Comb your hair? Sure, an uncombed hair is still considered tangled. But... I... okay. Where's the comb? It'll take you a long time with a comb. It'd better be if you use a rake. Athlete took the rake and started combing Rapunzel's long hair. It'll be easier for you if you divide it into three parts. Annoyed, Athlete did as the princess said. She combed the hair on the left first, then the middle, and finally, she combed the right side. Ugh, I'm exhausted. How do you comb your hair every day? By using magic. Fairies take care of it. Fairies? Well then, why didn't you ask them? <laughs> well, it's more fun this way. Really? You know what? I regret asking you for help. You made me work all day while you got your work done. I wish you had said you couldn't help. Stop, athlete. No, I don't need help from you. Athlete was tired and upset. In the morning, she joined the tournament, not knowing what she'd be doing. Welcome to the Great Kingdom Races! Let the first race of the tournament begin! Collect 10 stones from the cliff! Ah, just like yesterday! But this time it's only 10 times! This will be easy! Since 
Miss Athlete had done this 60 times the day before, she quickly collected all 10 stones and moved on to the next racetrack. The first one to start our second race, it's Athlete. Untangle the big pile of ropes. Ready, set, go. Ah, this is just like yesterday. Untangling these ropes is child's play compared to Rapunzel's hair. Athlete untied the ropes at once and went to the third race area. In our final race, raking three fields in the fastest time. Athlete took the rake and combed the field in no time, just the way she had done with Rapunzel's hair. This is just like yesterday, but, but... Athlete then realised that Rapunzel had helped her. The other contestants were not even in sight when she finished the race. And the winner is Athlete! I knew you would win, athletes. Thanks to you, Rapunzel. Thank you so much for everything. Yesterday I said things that upset you. I'm sorry. Forget about it. I don't even remember. Let's eat our blueberry cake to celebrate. Wolf had finished his preparations for New Year's Eve. Stuffed eggs, egg sculptures, eggshell candle holders. It's going to be a great celebration. The wolf had packed all the food and decorations in his basket and was about to go out when... Wolf, did you steal New Year's Eve again? I thought we'd made a deal last year. What? Me? Who else could steal New Year's Eve? Me? I was getting ready for the party. Stylish looked around. Except for the ornaments and food in the basket, she could not see anything related to New Year's Eve in the wolf's house. If I had stolen it, I would have eaten all the food already. So where are all the ornaments, gifts and food then? Yikes! Did they steal the food too? Yes, everything! Yet, you called me a thief! I'm sorry, Wolf. I thought... As if I would do such things! Actually, you did it last year. Well, yes, anyway. Apology accepted. <laughs> Thank you. So, what are we gonna do now? We're done! We won't be able to celebrate New Year! Impossible! I can't let this happen! Sauces, marshmallows, turkey. Whoever stole these should be afraid of me. Let's go find that thief. Wolf and Stylish went back to the farm and started inspecting the area. <laughs> Stylish, look! I found some white feathers here. Wolf, look! I found some footprints! Oh wow! They're huge! Who do they belong to? Or... Or... Scary Yeti! Yikes! Oh dear, what shall we do? <gasps> Let him take everything and celebrate New Year's this time! Let's not take back our ornaments! Shouldn't we? Really? I prepared very nice gifts for everyone. Me too. You're awesome. And I'll give you a wonderful... Anyway, anyway, it was supposed to be a surprise. <gasps> what surprise? Tell me. No, it's a surprise. And more importantly, food, cakes, cookies, pasta, rice, meatballs. <laughs> we can't have a party without food. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yes, we can. The important thing is being together. No such thing. Come on, we're going. Let's catch that Yeti. Either it eats with us, or it can't have our food. Wolf and Stylish set off towards the mountains. Are you sure the Yeti lives here, Wolf? Sure thing! Look, there's not a single bird around! Everyone is running away from it! Should we leave too? What do you think? It took me weeks to make that gift for you. I won't let it go. And if anyone can steal your New Year's Eve, it's me! Who does this beast think it is? <laughs> Was it the scary Yeti? Yikes! It's coming! We'll make a decision now. The food, the decorations, the gifts are there. Should we take them? Look! It's huge! How do we deal with it? And you keep talking about the food! Let's go then! I think nuts will be enough for us this year. Okay, wait a minute. On its neck! On its neck! On its neck! What's on its neck? You wait here! I have some business to deal with that monster! The wolf mustered his courage and went to the Yeti. But the Yeti was not very understanding. Here I am, Yeti! I've had enough of you! The forest is... Yikes! <laughs> Ouch! Oh! <laughs> it's too big, and it's beating me badly. Oh, dear. Wolf, look, New Year's Eve means being together with your loved ones. I'm not giving up yet. I'll take that scarf. I'll knit you a scarf. Ah, yes. You're the fastest of scarf knitters. Can you knit a long blanket using the surrounding grass? Yes, I can, but why do you need it? <laughs> Oof. If I sacrifice my eggs, we can pull him out and set a trap in that pit over there. Great idea, Wolf. Let's get to work. The wolf gathered brushwood. Stylish covered the hole with a cover she knitted from grass. They put the wolf's stuffed eggs in the pit. Mr. Yeti, we have so many delicious eggs. Come before they get cold. The Yeti peeked and ran towards the pit when the scent of food hit its nose. Come on, a little more, a bit more. <laughs> Let's get our stuff! Wolf and Stylish ran into the cave and retrieved their stuff. They were about to return to the farm when the wolf felt a light wind on his neck. Is the wind blowing? No! Ah! Wolf, the pit wasn't as deep as we thought! Run! Stylish and Wolf dropped everything and hid behind the bushes. <laughs> Wolf, please don't be upset. We can prepare something at home. My mom can cook again. I don't care about the food. You don't care about the food? Did I hear that right? Yes, Stylish. The scarf on the Yeti's neck. I knitted it for you. It took me a while because I wanted to make you happy. When Stylish heard this, she got very angry with the Yeti, came out from behind the bushes, and stood in front of the Yeti. Ah, uh, shut 
up. That's enough. <laughs> no. I said no. Uh? Hush. You can't steal people's stuff. Uh? New Year's Eve is a day when everyone is with their loved ones. Shame on you. The Yeti looked around sadly. Moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo, moo. What? It means you are alone because everyone is afraid of you. You can come with us if you promise not to steal anything. Stylish! What do you think you're doing? Well... Mm. Trust me, better not to be alone on New Year's Eve. All the goats, Wolf and the Yeti gathered around a beautifully set table in a decorated room with a tree full of gifts. Thank you, Wolf, for the gift. Hey, no stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start counting to welcome the new year. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, four three, three, two, one. Happy New Year, everyone! Happy, Happy, Happy New, new year. year! Happy New Year! That day, Wolf and Inventor were in Inventor's workshop getting ready for Halloween. Well, Inventor, are you sure? Is this a good Halloween costume? Wolf, trust me, this will be the best Halloween costume ever. Actually, I wear this outfit every day. Shouldn't we be disguised? Inventor continued working, ignoring Wolf's concern. And finally... Here it is, Wolf! I've made the final adjustments to your Halloween costume. Eh, it's adjusted. You haven't even ironed it! Wolf, ironing is not the point. Okay, okay, don't mind me. Go on! Every time you press this button, you will transform into a different person or animal. How? Can I be anyone I want? Well, it doesn't work that way. Anyway, come on, press the button. The wolf pressed the button on his vest, and he suddenly turned into Mother Goat. What's this? Mommy? Actually, it's your mommy! I've become Mother Goat! <laughs> Mother Goat! <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Press the button one more time. The Wolf turned into different characters every time he pressed the button. Inventor is a genius! Oh, wait. Genius is another goat. Come on, Vest. Turn me into a rooster. And I'll get some eggs! <laughs> the wolf kept pressing the button and turned into a different character each time. But he couldn't turn into a rooster. Ah, enough is enough! What can I do as a monkey? I don't even like bananas! I want to be a rooster! A rooster! <laughs> Hi, Cinderella. Are you here for the Halloween party? Cinderella? Where is she? <laughs> That's a good one, Cinderella. But wait a second. What happened to your voice? Nothing happened to my voice. I'm Wolf. Oh, Rapunzel. Yeah, what's going on? I think I'm hallucinating from all the running I've been doing. Even Athlete did not recognize me. So if I can turn into a rooster, I will fool the chickens. <laughs> Wolf. Huh? For a moment, I thought I was going to be a fish for the rest of my life. Whew. Snow White, 
Snow White, I've been looking for you everywhere. I need your help. The witch has captured the ice castle. Yikes! Hold on, dear. You're hurting my arm. I told you to stop. Snow White, do you hear that? The witch's spells have reached this far. We need to stop her immediately. Let me go! You're hurting me! I'm not Snow White! Look, I am... You! How did you get here? What did you do to Snow White? Yikes! Mommy! Cold! It's very cold! I am not the witch! <laughs> Look, I am the wolf! I am not the witch! <laughs> Look, I am the wolf! What? Wolf? How did you turn into the witch? You dragged me from the farm to here! And now you're asking me how I turned into a witch? Huh? That girl is so strange. If she would only open this gate. I don't understand why she dragged me to her cold country. When Wolf returned to the farm, he noticed that something strange was going on. There was no one around. Where did everyone go? Anyway, I don't care. Come on, pretty outfit. Turn me into a rooster now. Run, 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 run for, for your, your life. life. The, the wolf is in the, the head house. house. Run. run. Oops. I guess the vest no longer works. The chickens recognized me. Run. <laughs> they even emptied the hen house before I got there. Come to me, eggs. Omelet. Poached eggs. A banquet awaits me for dinner! The wolf disguised as Pofu was very surprised by what he saw when he entered the hen house. Hey, you! Drop my eggs! If not, I'll show you what's good for you! Alas, I got caught! Oh, a bunny! A savory dish worthy of my mouth! <laughs> What are you laughing at? I will hurt you so bad! The best Halloween gift! <laughs> what better holiday than this for a wolf? <laughs> Rabbit! Oh no! Am I Pofu now? Hey! I'm Wolf! I'm Wolf! You'll make a great rabbit stew! Don't be afraid! <laughs> What's going on? Now is not the time to break down, Mommy! Hey, look at me! Y you What are you? Now tell me, trick or treat? None of them, none of them! Help! Wait, let me give you the traditional wolf farewell! Oh! You're awesome, You're awesome Wolf! Your costume is perfect! Wolf, live Halloween! Halloween. Halloween. Perfect. Trick or treat? Oh! Trick or treat? Here is the best Halloween costume! <laughs> Musician went to the wolf's house trying not to spill the glass of milk in his hand.
Who is it? It's me, musician. Musician, welcome. My mother made some cocoa milk, and this is for you. My dear friend, come on in. You sit here. Uh, let me offer you something. No need, Wolf. Thank you. Although I don't have much to offer. No need, Wolf, really. I found it. Let me play something on my sun tour. What is that? Uh, it's a musical instrument. Wow, an instrument that I'm not familiar with. Where did you get it? This belonged to my great-great-grandfather, our family heirloom. Can I try playing something? Oh, I can't play it! Stop, 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 musician. You can't play Santo like that. This is how you do it. You, you, how did you learn to play the Santor? My grandpa taught me. Let me try again. If you can play, I'm sure I can too. I have some work to do now. I have to go. But we haven't had our milk yet. I forgot I left the food on the stove. Actually, I left the iron on. Musician left the wolf's house in a somber mood. If wolf can play better than me, I guess I can't be a musician anymore. So who could I be now? Musician was so deep in thought that he didn't even realize that Dreamer was next to him. Musician, you look self-absorbed. What's up? Well, I guess I'm no longer a musician. Who are you then? I don't know. Maybe now I'm a dreamer too. Really? There's nothing like dreaming together. Really? Sure, let's look at the clouds together. What am I looking at? Look, that cloud over there looks like a fork. Actually, it looks more like a musical note. And a tennis racket over there. More like a treble clef. Are you sure you're no longer a musician? Because you're not very good at daydreaming. You might be right. Maybe I can be an athlete. Then, how about playing basketball? Okay, let's play. Dreamer and musician went to the basketball court together. One, two, three. Ball the hoop. One, two, three, listen to that, what a beautiful rhythm, boom, boom, boom. No musician, you're supposed to throw it in the hoop. Oh right. Maybe you're not an athlete either. Do you think I could be a genius? Okay, let's take a look at your library. They went to musician's bedroom. Here are my beautiful books. This is the encyclopedia of great musicians. This is music history. This is music genres. And my favorite book, How to Compose. But everything is about music. Genius has a book on every subject. Maybe I can be an inventor. The 
two brothers went to the junkyard together. Come on, let's create something. All right. Time flew by as the two brothers were digging through the scraps. Dreamer, did you invent anything? I couldn't start anything as I started dreaming. First, I thought of building a time machine. Then, a spaceship to Jupiter. Dreamer! Okay, okay. So, what did you do? Ta-da! What is this? Harmonica, drums and guitar all in one. What do you think? It is truly worth of a musician. Are you sure you're not a musician? I don't know, bro. So, do you want to be a musician? Yes, I do, but... But what? But there are others who play instruments better than me. And what's your point? I listen to the wolf playing the santo. I have to study for months to play like him. Let me explain something. Athlete is not called athlete just because she runs fast. She is an athlete because she practices sports more than anyone else. That's right. A cheetah runs faster than her. Genius knows a lot, but I'm sure you know more about music than he does. So can I still be a musician even if I'm not the best? Sure. You're a musician not because you're the best, but because that's what you love to do the most. My dear brother, thank you. Musician understood his dilemma and was happy, but he had one more thing to do. Wolf, I'm sorry for leaving you so hastily this morning. Can I ask you a favor? Sure, what is it? Can you teach me to play the Santor? Me? <laughs> I don't know how to play the Santor. But you were playing in the morning. I can only play that song, the official Wolf's Anthem. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> okay, Wolf, let's learn together. Wolf! Wolf! Dreamer was very excited that day. Oh my! What happened to you? It doesn't matter. I'll be fine. The important thing is, they're finally coming! Who's coming? Who's coming? They're coming, Wolf! Popped peas! What? You're kidding, right? Our favorite band is coming in concert. I can't believe it! They're my favorite band! Hooray! Hooray! But we have a problem. W what is it? My mom won't let me go because the concert is late at night. Mm, then I'll go. The wolf took the tickets and danced happily. Then he noticed that Dreamer was upset. Don't be upset. If your mom doesn't let you go, there's nothing you can do! She didn't say I couldn't go. She said I couldn't go without a responsible adult who would look after me. Yes, indeed. You're an adult. Me? We'll go to the concert together. Uh, yes, but uh, your mother! Well, please! Uh, okay, okay! The wolf combed his fur and put on his tie. Then, together with Dreamer, he went to see Mother Goat. Hello, wolf. How are you? I'm, um, I'm fine, I would say. Um, can I take Dreamer to the concert? Wolf, I'd rather have a responsible adult take him to the concert. I'm an adult. 
You're a bit of a mischievous adult. Oh, I'm very responsible. Absolutely not. Uh. At least we tried. I so wanted to go. Come on, don't cry. What if we ask someone else for help? I asked everyone, but they didn't want to go because it's late. Besides, wearing a cast on my broken foot makes it more difficult. Wolf and Dreamer slumped on the bench, defeated. Um, I can still go, right? Yes, you can go. Hooray! I'll have so much fun. Go, Puppet Peas! <laughs> Uh, but when you give me that look, how I am supposed to have fun? Okay, okay, there's another way. What is it? Mm, it's time to show your mom what a responsible wolf I am. How are we going to do it? Wait and see. Wolf went to Mother Goat with a pot of flowers in his hand. What are these, Wolf? These are flowers I grew. I water them every morning. And I want to give them to you. You are very kind. But these look a lot like the flowers our neighbour chicken has. Uh, yes, they look alike. <laughs> I'd better give these flowers to her. I think that'll be best. Wolf, is that your plan? Stop! It's not over yet. Wolf immediately came up with a new plan. You little rascals! Oh, mother go! Hello, Wolf. So, I'm taking these little chicks to school. I do it every afternoon. I take good care of them. Is that so? Yes. Little Cotton is sick today, so I carry it in my hand. So what do the chickens think about this? They're all fine with it. Is that so? Ouch! Ouch! I, I, help! Help! Wolf and Dreamma got together once again. I guess I won't be going after all. Don't say that! I'm determined! We will watch that concert together! Do you have a plan? I sure do! <laughs> Boy, do I have a plan! The wolf knocked on the door once again, wearing a fireman's hat on his head. Hello, wolf! Da -da 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 -da. I'm here now as a firefighter! Is that so? Yes, I am a responsible adult, so I was deemed worthy of this task. What was the task? Uh, raising awareness of fires and inspecting the farm residents' homes. Come on in, check it out then. Hmm, let's see. Your staff is far enough from the window and you have a fire extinguisher. Just as expected of you. Of course, as it should be in every home. Yeah, but let's see if the expiration date is still valid. Is it still good? Let me see. It's not written here. It's not written here either. Is it here? Oh, oh! Oh, stop! I can't stop it! Yay! Finally, Mother Goat pushed the wolf out of the door. Uh -huh. I owe you a fire extinguisher. It didn't work, did it?
Don't be upset, Trema. When you're sad, I'm sad too. I really wanted us to watch the concert together. That's enough. She'll see what a responsible wolf I am. Mother goat. Yes, wolf. Trema wants to attempt a concert badly and I can look after him. What if he gets hungry? I'll bring a sandwich with me. What if he's thirsty? I'll buy water. Actually, can you lend me money? But what if he gets lost in the crowd? Don't worry, dear. I'll carry him on my shoulders. Yikes! Wolf and Dreamer fell and both got hurt. Mother Goat felt bad for them, so she planned a great concert night. Guys, I made some popcorn for you. At least we can watch the concert together, Wolf. Long live Pop Peace! Hooray! There was a long line in front of Inventor's house. Focus now. Take a deep breath. Your eyelids are getting heavy. Inventor was helping the residents of the farm with her new invention. You will no longer have nightmares. Your sleep will be nice and deep. You will sleep like a baby. Thanks, Inventor. You're welcome. Next, please. Focus. You're getting sleepy. Your eyelids are getting heavy. You won't crave honey any more than what you need. You'll be satisfied with two spoonfuls of honey. Thanks, Inventor. The wolf watched from outside the window. He was so intrigued that he fell inside while trying to get a closer look. Out! Oh, oh my! Hi, Wolf. Is it your turn? No, not really. I was curious and I was just watching. I can heal the farm folks with my new hypnosis device. How does it work? I hypnotize them and discourage their bad habits. I make them more relaxed, too. Do they do whatever you want? Sort of, but they actually do what they want. Come on! Hypnotize me too! What do you want to improve? Well, I'm very afraid of chickens. They give me that nasty look. Can you take away my fear? Let's try it. Focus. You're getting sleepy. Your eyelids are getting heavy. You will no longer be afraid of chickens. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Great. Wait for me, chickens. The wolf ran to the coop. A few hours later, he returned to Inventor's workshop. Wolf, what happened to you? I am not afraid of chickens anymore, but they still pecked at me! Why would they peck you? I just wanted to take some eggs! Hmm... If you want, I can reduce your desire to eat eggs. No such thing! What is life without eggs? Without them, I'm nothing! So what do you want to do now? Can I borrow that tool for two minutes? But promise me that you won't hurt anyone. Sure, sure, sure. Just for my own benefit. The wolf took the hypnosis device and went straight to the hen house. Okay, girls. Let your eyelids get heavy. Go to sleep. No three eggs per day. No, 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 no. You will give me five eggs. Ah, uh, Rooster, don't you look handsome today? Ah! You came back faster than I thought. 
speed is my area of expertise. But I'm not done yet. Rooster, look now. You're focusing here. Your eyelids are getting heavy. No, you're not looking at me. Here, Rooster, focus here. You're sleeping. Aren't you sleeping? You came back fast. I'm not done yet. The wolf tried everything to hypnotize the rooster, but he still failed. Wolf, do you want me to help? I want the rooster to like me. I don't think we can do this with hypnosis. Just then, something unexpected happened. A chicken came out. Chicken? Are uh, these mine? Mine? They're all mine! Hypnosis word! They're bringing me eggs! Did you see that inventor? Wolf, you should not use hypnosis for your own benefit. <laughs> My eggs? The wolf walked away, not paying attention to Inventor. So Inventor got angry at the wolf. I'll teach Wolf a lesson. That day, the wolf's table was set beautifully. Look at that breakfast! Eggs from chickens, honey from beans, milk from cows. Who is it? Hello, Wolf. Hello, Inventor. I made a great breakfast thanks to you. Wolf, look at me. What happened? You have new classes. You will cackle every time your name is called. Wolf! What? What happened? My new glasses are actually a miniature hypnosis device. Wolf! Hey, cut it! Cut it out! Not until you break everyone's hypnosis, Wolf! 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 Okay, okay, but let me have my breakfast first! Wolf! Bark, bark! Oh, okay, no breakfast. Oh, oh wolf! Bark, bark! What have you done to yourself? The wolf reversed the hypnosis of the chickens, the cows, and the bees. Okay, I did what you asked. Well done, wolf! Bark, bark, bark! Come on, it's your turn! You spent the whole day hypnotizing everyone on the farm. So it won't hurt if you cackle for an entire day. Wolf! Buck bug! If I catch you, buck bug! In Ben Buck Bug Char! Buck Buck! Enraged, the wolf jumped on Inventor. Stop, Wolf! Buck Buck! I show you the wolf! Buck Buck! I'm the wolf! Walk, buck Buck Buck! Fear me! Buck Buck! No. What did you do, Wolf? Look, Mom. You broke the glasses. What should we do now? Wolf. Look, Mom. You'll be like this until I make a new one. Oh, you reckless wolf. Look, Mom. Thoughtless wolf. Look, Mom. Don't worry, Wolf. Look, Mom. Maybe the rooster will like you more this way. <laughs> it's not funny! Wah -wah! Wah -wah! Wah -wah! Come back here! Wah -wah! Wah -wah! <laughs> wah -wah -wah! <laughs> Wolf! Wah -wah! <laughs> Wah -wah! Wah -wah! Cinderella was at home testing some spells she had learned from her magic book. Hocus Pocus, let the carrot turn into a watermelon. 
I did it! Let's move on to the next. Hocus Pocus. Let the watermelon turn into a mirror. Hooray! I did it again! At that moment, someone knocked on the door. Cinderella was surprised when she opened it. Artist, come on in. What happened to you? I was decorating for a party and wanted to glue some feathers around. It seems you glued them on yourself instead of everywhere else. I fell into the glue bucket and all the feathers stuck on me. Do you want me to remove the feathers? No, my sister and mentor applied spray on me. It's supposed to dissolve the glue, but unfortunately I have to wait until midnight for it to take effect. So what can I do for you? Well, I can't show up in front of the guests like this. I was wondering if you could host the party. Hmm, I have a better idea. Cinderella, an artist, stood in the front of the mirror. I look awful! Hocus Pocus, let the mirror turn into an armchair. The mirror turned into an armchair in an instant. Wow! I've been studying magic using my magic book. If you want, I can change you back. That would be great! Glue and feathers, listen to me! Hocus Pocus! Cool! Thank you, princess! No problem. I can also help you organize the party if you want. There was someone else watching all this from the window. Well, well. A magic wand, huh? <laughs> I could turn old stones into eggs and leaves into gold. Cinderella and Artist made their way to the house where the party would be and the wolf followed them. Can you turn curtains into balloons? If we turn the window into a fireplace, that would be okay. Cinderella and artist began to decorate everything using magic. They turned the curtains into balloons, the tables into gold tables, and the window into a fireplace. Look! These are the goose feathers I fell into! I'm allergic to goose feathers! <laughs> when Cinderella sneezed, everything started to change again. Oh no! Tables turn into chairs and windows turn into doors! The balloons also turn into watermelons! And... And you? And me? Look! Ah, I've turned into you? It was because I sneezed! Can, can you fix this? I will try. Ah, ah, Everything took a different shape once again, including artist. You're a frog now! Cinderella looked for her wand, but could not find it. Where's my wand? <laughs> I took it! Wolf, give it back to me! No way! First, I must turn those stones into eggs! Stop, Wolf! Right, left, hocus pocus, all should turn into eggs! Wolf! I did it! I did it! I have lots of eggs now! Give it to me! Uh, you can have it now! I don't need it anymore! 
Let these things be over. Let the wolf get smarter, too. Hang on, artist. I'll get you back to normal. My left and my back. Hocus pocus! Oh no! Artis is not turning back to normal! What shall I do now? While Cinderella was trying to turn Artis back to normal, guests started arriving. Oh no! They shouldn't see you like this! Let's get into that room! Cinderella and Artis entered the utility room immediately. Unfortunately, the room was full of feathers that Artis had gathered earlier. Uh, achoo! Am I back to normal? When Cinderella sneezed, Artis turned into the wolf and the wolf became the artist. Hello, artist! Uh, artist? What artist? I'm the wolf! <laughs> artist is such a joker! Good one, artist! Uh, when Cinderella sneezed, the room, artist, and the wolf took different shapes. Am I back to normal? No, I'm sorry. The party's almost over. Wait, I'll handle it. Let time flow, let the world stop. Hocus pocus. Yikes, now she fell asleep. Cinderella had been trying all night long, but nothing had worked. Nothing turned back to normal. At midnight, something unexpected happened. Hmm? Uh, am I back to myself? Look, my goose feathers are also falling off. Yay! Oh, I'm a wolf again! I can now eat my eggs, mommy, my teeth. Oh, I couldn't break the spell, but time did. My beautiful party is ruined. I am so sorry. Cinderella and Artis left the room. Artis, this is the most wonderful party I've ever been to. Everything was constantly changing. I don't know how you did it, but the whole farm is talking about your party. I think we had the best party ever! <laughs> I guess so. One day, the wolf was very hungry, so he decided to get into the hen house quietly and get some eggs. <laughs> if I could have a couple of eggs! The wolf tiptoed into the hen house. I must be quiet so that I don't get caught. Despite the noise he made, no one came out to stop the wolf. Is there anybody here? <laughs> Come to me, eggs. One egg, two eggs. Oops, I've got caught. The chickens caught the wolf. However, the chickens were more like in a trance. Are you okay, chicken? And you? What about you? Yikes! This is not fun at all. Let me get some milk. This time, the wolf sneaked into the barn. He saw half a bucket of milk, but the cow was just standing still. What? You won't even try to stop me. The cow did nothing. What's going on here? Yikes! Aliens! Aliens are attacking us! Calm down, wolf. He knows my name too! Help! Stop! Stop! What are you doing? My helmet! Genius? Is that you? Of course, it's me, Genius. What's going on? All animals on the farm got sick. There's an epidemic spreading rapidly. Is it contagious? Will I get sick too? You are not a farm animal, you're a wolf. So you're a wild animal. Ooh. 
For a moment, I was terrified. We have to prepare medicine to help them. Also, you should put the eggs back. We must gather the necessary ingredients immediately. Me? Why me? Because no one else can walk around but you, Wolf. Well, but I don't understand anything about the pharmaceutical field. Come, you can help me. Genius and the wolf went deep into the forest. <laughs> you, you know what? You look so funny in that outfit. This outfit protects me from disease. <laughs> Bless you. What? Am I getting sick too? But you have that protective gear. Wolf, this probably happened after you attacked me and took my helmet off. I did not attack you. I was just trying to escape. Anyway, we have very little time before all the symptoms develop. We must hurry. Okay. 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 What should we do? Do you see the tulips on that cliff? We need them. Come on. Genius climbed and collected some tulips. You proved you're a real goat. You did a great job, Genius. Come on, Wolf. Let's find the second ingredient as soon as possible. Wolf and Genius hit the road once again. Oh, no. What's wrong? Are we being attacked? Red Spots, the disease is in its second phase. We must hurry. Let's speed it up then. Run. I said run. Run. I'm not feeling well, Wolf. I feel so tired. Okay then, get on my back. Thank you, Wolf. Wolf and Genius finally arrived where they needed to be. We're finally here, Wolf. This is Mossy Lake. What will we do now? We'll wrap the moss on the frogs. Just a few minutes is enough. Then we're going to mix the tulip roots with the moss. Yuck, that sounds disgusting. Fortunately for me, I'm not a farm animal. Come on, Wolf. I'll collect the moss and you should catch the frogs. Wolf and Genius immediately got to work. Hey, hey, don't run away. Come here. Yikes, what happened to you, Wolf? I don't want to talk about it. Genius and Wolf set off again. But Genius started getting worse and worse. Hold on, Genius. It's almost time for us to reach the pit. So what's in the hole anyway? Is it a violet flower? Is it a cone? Snakes, Wolf, we need to extract their venom. What? Are we going to catch snakes? No way. We must do it. Genius. Snakes don't like me, though. Don't faint, genius. We must do it. What's going on? The medicine. I have to prepare the medicine. Calm down, please. You need to lay down. You don't understand. I have to prepare the medicine. Or the whole farm. Genius. The medicine was prepared. What? How? Hi, Genius. I found the receipt in the book you have in your bag. What happened to your face? The snake wiener must think so I licked it to see if it tastes good. Of course it was a huge mistake. Days passed. Thanks to the medicine they made, both Genius and the animals on the farm got better. However, Wolf was still not fully recovered. Genius, did you come to visit me? I'm starving. If I ate at least one egg, I'd get better soon. 
Wolf, the animals on the farm want to thank you. Me? Yes, you saved everyone and these are yours. Wow, is all this mine? And there is more. What else could it be? Wolf, 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 wolf our, our hero! hero. Long, Long live the wolf! The wolf. Long live the wolf! What is that? Everyone came to visit you. Oh, did they all come for me? Yes! Let's go then! That day, as it started getting dark, animal sounds coming from the woods made the wolf feel uneasy. Oh boy! Who's there? Mommy! Where, where are the goats? Leaves fell as the tree branches creaked and the wolf got more anxious. Boo! Mommy! I'm too young to die! <laughs> wolf, it's me! Stylish? Was that you? Why haven't you put on your costume yet? Because I've been in a costume since the day I was born. But you were supposed to be someone else tonight. But I am. I'm a werewolf. A werewolf. Got it? Hmm. You, you dressed up as a princess. It's not scary at all. First of all, the costume doesn't have to be scary. We just need to wear one. And a princess can be as scary as she wants. Boo! You don't say. Okay, then. So, where's genius? Boo! Oh! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Poor mortals, how dare you speak of Count Genius? I'm the Lord of the Night. I'm the strongest of the fanged. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> More like the clumsiest. I thought you weren't coming to the Halloween celebrations this year. I changed my mind. So let's start trick-or-treating. Hooray! Candy! We just knock on some doors and they give us candy. The best night of the year. The wolf, genius and stylish, walked from door to door, collecting lots of candy. a lot of fun. But as they looked for a safe place to count their candy, they came across a house they hadn't seen before. Was this house always here? First time I see it. Maybe, maybe we should stay away. It seems a little... Uh, um... What's the matter, Wolf? Are you scared? Don't be silly. It's, it's just... Um... Come on, it's just an old house. I'm going in. I'll be the one collecting the most candy tonight. Right, right, candy. For candy, I'll do anything. I'll go first. Come on, Wolf, ring the bell. Okay, uh, I'll ring it then. Oh, Wolf, I'll do it. As soon as they rang the bell, a trap door opened on the floor and they started falling into a dark hole. Ah! 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 Oh, oh. oh boy! Careful! Where are we? In a hallway, I guess. Suddenly, the hallway lit up and they heard a voice. Ha 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 Welcome to my home. Only the brave can get out of here. Who are you? I'm the voice of Halloween. Ha 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 ha. At that moment, bats started to swarm into the room. Oh no! Oh no, bats! Bats, run! Run! As they ran, they got separated 
warm and stylish, rushed to a door they found. If, if I ever, if I ever get out of here, I'll give away all my candy to the children on the farm. Uh. Genius got into another room and started pushing some buttons on the panel before him. <whistles> Meanwhile, Stylish and Wolf sat on the bed in their room. Psst. Is the bed soft? <laughs> Mommy! The sheet can talk! Give me some candy. Here, 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 take it all, take it all! I'm out of here! Bye! Wolf, let's get in the room with the pink door. Stylish, you're amazing! I'm so happy we're here! I guess it's my lucky day! Look at these millions of eggs! Hey, are you taking my children? Leave the eggs! Let's get out of here! Oh, what is this? A giant talking egg? No, I'm not taking them. I'm giving them candy. Uh, aren't you the cutest? I, I, I almost lost all my candy behind the pink door. Let's, let's get out of here. I don't like this house at all. Um, uh, uh. Yes, Wolf. Let's get out. I hate it here. Look! Look around! There are pumpkins everywhere in here. Let me take some so I can make pies at home. I've already lost most of my candy, you know. As the wolf tried to gather pumpkins, suddenly all the pumpkins started moving. A strange being with a pumpkin head and a goat body appeared among them. Hey, you, the werewolf look-alike. I'll use you for a wolf dessert. Come to the kitchen with me. And you, goat, I'll turn you into a goat dessert. Ha 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 I'd be a terrible desert. I think you'll be wasting your time. I've tried it before. It tasted awful. We'll make wolf desserts out of you. Come here. No! Here, take all my candy. Eat this instead. I don't want to be anybody's dessert. Mommy! Stylish! Give all your candy to them so we can get out of here! Oh, those rooms are so scary. We could barely escape. <laughs> the house took all my candy. What are we going to eat now? <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have gone there. I know what we'll be eating. Help! Run! Run, Stylish! Wait, Wolf, it's me, Genius. It was only a joke. Happy Halloween! What? Genius? Halloween? Trick or treat, treat, treat or trick, trick or tr Genius? You really tricked us back there, genius! Oh, genius! <laughs> <laughs> It was a beautiful morning on the farm as the sun spread joy around. Stylish and Athlete had a fantastic plan for the day. Stylish, my sister! Athlete, my sister! Are we ready? Are we ready? We are ready! Hey girls, what's going on? Uh, what are you ready for? Oh, hello, Wolf. What's up? 
Not much. It's a boring day. Everyone is somewhere doing something. Except me. I'm doing nothing. Tell me, what are you ready for? Well... We thought we'd have a girls' day today and enjoy this beautiful day. Yes, we haven't had a girls' day in a while. But if you're bored... Yes, if you're alone... He can come with us. He can come, right, sister? Of course he can. Only if he keeps up with our plans. Wait a second. Your plan is the girls' day? Yes, we have a great schedule. Nah, I won't come then. What? Why should I do the things girls do? I am a boy. Well, Wolf, you're the one who said is bored. I'd rather be bored than do girl things. As you wish. Hold on! D don't go now! What if you had a girl stay on another day? Impossible! We've been planning all week long! Come on! Do that boring stuff another time! Boring? If you don't want to come, then don't come, Wolf! While Stylish and Athlete were on their way, Wolf was alone once again, and he wasn't happy at all. Uh, have it your way! I'll spoil your plans then! Hey, when was the last time we played this game? Good thing you thought about it! Hmm, what are they doing? Are you ready? I'm ready! What are you girls doing? We're playing sumo wrestling! Our favorite game! If you want to spend time with us, the offer still stands, Wolf! Leave me alone! I am a man! We'll be in the field in an hour! Come if you want! Athlete and Stylish finish their game and set out to the field. But, of course, the wolf followed them from afar. He was determined to find out what they would do so he could ruin their plans. I've been waiting for half an hour, but they're not doing anything! Athlete hasn't even shown up! Well, what are you doing here? Mommy! The scarecrow! Stylish! Run! The scarecrow is alive! Run! <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? That's not a scarecrow! It's athlete! What? We were actually going to play a joke on the cow, but you fell into our trap! This is what you did? <laughs> actually, it's actually pretty funny! <laughs> <laughs> we thought so too! You're having so much fun! Sure! When you said girls day... Yes? I don't know, it sounded boring to me! Wolf. 
And play games, too! We also knit! We play jokes! Okay, uh, okay, I get it. So, can I join you? Mm, I don't know. Come on, girls. Take me with you. Please, please. Maybe we can cook. I can do it too. Get me some eggs. I'll make an omelet that'll make you lick your fingers. Maybe we'll play with makeup. Actually, I need a shave. What if we knit? My scarf was torn. I'll knit a new one. What do you think, Stylish? Okay, you can join us. Wolf, an athlete and Stylish had a great day. First, they played a joke they couldn't play earlier on the cow. They drew pictures, chatted, made a fortress with pillows. And lastly, they knitted. When they got hungry, the wolf made them a delicious omelette. Be and straight, wolf! Hmm, uh, what's happening? Come on now, close your eyes. Cucumbers are ready. That's a nice touch. Oh, this feels so good. Girls! Yes, Wolf? Thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. We had so fun together! So, when is the next girl's day? <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful spring day. The wolf had a very important task. Don't touch it! This is not yours! I am no! arrived at the farm with a flower in his hand but things were not quite as they should have been on the farm the most important thing is imagination no the most important thing is to work what's the use of working if you have no imagination what's the use of imagination if you don't work hey hey what's going on boys nothing musician and his incorrect point of view you are the one who's wrong Boys, stop! Did you forget? Today is the day we take my mother's flower back! If you want, I'll come with you, Wolf. But if he's coming, I'm not coming. If he is coming, I won't come. Come on, you promised! You know that two of us can't carry that much stuff. Okay, but tell him not to talk to me along the way. You shouldn't have addressed him! Actually, tell him not to talk to me either. Although you shouldn't have addressed him! As if I want to talk to him. Okay, you don't want to talk, and he doesn't want to listen. We've settled this! Let's get going! Wolf, dreamer and musician took the stuff from the wolf's house and set off. La 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 la! The weather is beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful? Not! Look at the beauty of this flower. I've been taking care of it since my mom went on vacation. 
and I talk to it. I told stories. It's pretty cheesy. So you worked hard to take care of it. So you have enough imagination to tell its stories. Anyway, after that tree, we'll be on the path. Ha! As if all successful people only dreamed and never worked. Did you say something to me? You won't talk to me. Boys, did you hear that sound? How could we hear anything with him yapping? Actually, you're! Cut it out! There's a crack! Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh, where, where are we? I think the ground has collapsed. Are you serious? I didn't notice. Look, there's a tunnel over there. Shall we try it from there? Yeah, because we can climb up. Or did you dream about not being able to climb? Ah, uh, that's enough. Enough is enough. My flower. I'll show you. You show me what? My flower! Don't come near me! What if I do? My flower is wilting because of you fighting! <laughs> Wolf! Wolf, what? I've had enough of you two since we set off. I wish I had carried the stuff myself instead of asking you for help. I would have been tired, but at least cheery. Wolf, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Look what you did to my mother's flower. I'm getting out of this tunnel. Come along if you want. My dear flower. Hang on. We're almost there. I tell you stories. Don't look at them, my sweet flower. Wolf, maybe it would help if we got some water. Uh, sure, sure. Water. Let's try it now. Dreamer poured some water from his canteen into the flower pot. They waited and waited. But nothing happened. <laughs> My dear flower, let's hurry. Maybe some sunlight will do you good. Wolf, Dreamer and Musician went through the tunnel of winding pathways, but they couldn't find the way out. I know, it had perked up if it had had some sunlight. Hey, I've got an idea. If we can take it to the light, let's bring sunshine to it. What do you mean? So, let's tell it about daylight. Maybe the effect will be good. Okay, let's talk to it about sunshine. Can you hand me your guitar? I'll play a song about sunshine. Here you go. Dreamer took the guitar and started playing. But his playing was so awful that the flower's petals and the wolf's fur started to fall out. Oh no, stop! In your dream, you can play the guitar. Maybe you realize now that both imagination and work are very important. <laughs> You're right, Wolf. You are right, Wolf. Really? We were both being stubborn. I guess because you're both goats. I have something on my mind. First, a long ta-da! Then, the sun is rising. Dreamer shared his dream about the sunshine and Musician played a song that he easily composed because he worked at it every day. In the end, a wonderful melody that warmed their hearts was created. Oh, 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 oh. 
Wow. Very beautiful. My flower. Look. My flower loved it too. Keep it up, musician. Dreamer and Wolf started dancing and... found the exit that's that's my mom's house the flower also got better yippee <laughs> hooray we found a shortcut Day, there was a commotion on the farm. All the flightless baby birds were running excitedly towards Dreamer's house. Hey, hey stop, stop, be careful. What's going on here? Get out of the way, Wolf. Now I'm late because of you. Where are you going? To have my lesson. But there's no school today, and the school is not that way, is it? This is flying lessons, Wolf. I'm going to Dreamer's house. So you say, can Dreamer fly? That's interesting news. Get out of the way, Wolf. I'm in a hurry. Maybe, if I work hard enough, I'll be able to fly too! <laughs> Why not? Am I not the most talented and strongest among all the wolves? Wolf followed the chicks and set out for Dreamer's house. Friends, the important thing is not to worry too much. So tell me, what worries you the most? What if my wings don't open? You? What if I can't flap my wings as supposed to? I agree! I work so hard, but I can't fly! Well, you shouldn't be here! Why not? There's no sign on the door saying wolves aren't allowed. True, but everyone knows that wolves can fly. <laughs> no, it's clear. You don't want me here. Wolf, this is not personal. The class is just for birds. I believe I can fly, Trima. But wolf. I don't care. I will attend the class. Well then, our next lesson is jumping off from a high place. The entire class climbed the high wall that Dreamer had shown them. The wall started trembling. I... Uh, I just realized that I don't want to fly. <laughs> no, Wolf, you should stay. No, 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 I think I should leave. Okay, guys, let's continue. The important thing is believing that you can do it. Let's start. Ouch! Oh, chicken rain! The wolf dropped out of class, but was very upset that his dream of flying was shattered. Oh! Those poor elephants! They can't fly either! What about those horses? Oh, especially those chickens! <laughs> chickens! Wolf came up with an evil plan. 
Ladies! Yes, Wolf? You know, Dreamer teaches flying lessons. So? Imagine if you could fly. But chickens can't fly. Says who? Have you ever tried? Do you have those wings for nothing? Well, actually, you're right. Exactly! What beautiful wings you have! Besides, Dreamer said that the lessons are for winged animals. Do you think we could learn? Of course! Just believe in yourself! It's worth the try. <laughs> this was the easiest egg hunt I've ever done! While the wolf went into the hen house, the chickens went to see Dreamer. Hello, chickens! What's up? We heard that you're giving flying lessons. Yes! We want to register too. But you... Why do you hesitate? We have wings. Yes, of course. But where did you get this idea? It's flying lessons for winged animals. Wolf said so. That's why we came. Yes, but... But what? Chickens can fly. <laughs> of course we know that. Oh, you scared me for a moment. If you know that, why do you want to attend the lessons? We thought we could have some fun and teach the wolf a lesson. He thinks that he tricked us. You know how wolf is. <laughs> My ex! I'm so smart and strong, so why would I care about flying? Hello, wolf! Hello, chicken! Um, I, uh, well, the eggs, uh, well, I, I took them for a walk. Oh, Wolf, it's not about the eggs. We somehow learned to fly. So now we can lay eggs on top of the trees. What? But how? Can you really fly? You're flying! Of course. Dream and taught us. That means I can fly too! Certainly. The wolf dropped the eggs and ran to Dreamer's place. The flying chicken pointed to her friends and they took the chicken off the flying mechanism. Hey Dreamer! They really fly! You're a great teacher. I want to fly too. Wolf, you can fly. I can fly. Chickens are flying now. They will lay their eggs on the trees now. I need to learn how to fly immediately. Dreamer, get me a pair of wings, please. Gosh, where did this come from now? Why this sudden desire to fly? Okay then, take these wings and wear them, but I'm warning you again, wolves can fly! I'm flying! I'm flying! Mommy! Oh, wolf, you never learn! Wolf turned up again at the inventor's workshop because the wheel of his wheelbarrow broke. Inventor! Inventor! This wheel you gave me didn't work! He entered the workshop, but nobody was there. Inventor! Where are you? I'm here, Wolf! Did you build this shrinking machine again? It's not my fault if I step on you or something. Wolf, I'm down here. Come over. Down? Wolf saw the trap door on the ground and climbed down the ladder. 
What is that? The whole basement was flooded. Poor inventor. She was on top of a table that was floating in the water. Uh, what happened here? Just a wet day. When I came down this morning, all of my stuff was flooded. Anyway, I'm here because the wheel you gave me yesterday didn't work well. Are you kidding me? Are you just going to stand there and do nothing? I don't know how to swim. What good will it do? Here, hand me that hose over there. I will handle the rest. This? Oh uh, gosh, I'm done, Paul. There you go. I got it. Now, if I just tie this end to that and throw this to the window, there we go. Now, can you press the button on the wall? Inventor, I think something is not right. The water is rising. This was not supposed to happen. Inventor, I I'm leaving. Press the button again, Wolf. <coughs> this was not supposed to happen, but we just can't give up. Look, I'll bring you a bucket, then we can drain the water in the basement. It'll take hours. I will build a machine to handle this. But how? I just realized all my stuff is underwater. <laughs> Look, uh, just give me a new wheel. I have things to do. The wheel that I gave you was the last one, Wolf. I have to fix yours, but all my tools are underwater. Oh no! Inventor! We have to train this water pass! That's the spirit! Let's do this! Inventor tried new things with the tools she had. It is rising! Make it stop! But how? Inventor built another machine. Those bubbles? Let me grab a bucket real quick! Ah! I'm dying! Inventor! You scared me, Wolf! Calm down! It will take hours with a bucket! Well, it already took hours! Fine! Get out of here! Oh, mommy! Help me! I'm coming! Help! I'm too young to die! I don't want to get wet! Get away from me, water! Yeah. I was going to try so much food! I was going to call so much mischief! Wolf! Goodbye, inventor! Goodbye! Wolf! What? I'm trying to say my goodbyes here! But you're standing! Oh! So the water level is not that high? All this time? And you could have brought me the tools that I asked for? Don't get mad at me! It's not my fault! You broke things! I didn't! Oh yeah? So how did it get fluted in here? Seriously, where's all this water coming from? I don't care where it comes or where it goes. Fix my wheel first, then do what you have to do. Because of you, I still got stuff to do. All right, Wolf. You're right. Let's get out. Just as Inventor was about to get out, something hit the table. This? This? Hooray! A new wheel, a new wheel, a new wheel. But I had only one wheel left, Wolf. 
So, there's another after all. And this one is so soft, not like the one you gave me. Wolf, where did you get the wheel yesterday? You told me there was another wheel in the closet downstairs. Did you... did you just unscrew the well? What? Oh, if I get my hands on you! Help! This save me! Get back here! Who... who put this wheel barrel here? Oh, that's true! <laughs> I did! You're such a good friend! Well, because of you, all my books are wet! All my machinery is broken! No wheel for you! What? Wait! If there's no wheel, then no wheelbarrow! Without the wheelbarrow, I can't get the carrots to ruffle! Without carrots, she can't make me carrot pie! Do you want her to make pies for the Lion Inventor? He should have taught this Jew before causing such a catastrophe. Inventor, wait, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? The water was drained once Inventor turned off the valve. Then he mopped the floor and dried the walls. How does it look? Now the books. What should I do? Read? Dry them! Page by page, every single one! Alright, alright! One, two, three, four... The wolf was headed to his house with baskets he could barely carry. They are so heavy, <laughs> but, but it won't worth it though. Despite the baskets being incredibly heavy, he was pretty happy. Finally, I'm gonna have the best New Year's Eve! He got home and started opening the baskets one by one. Oh boy! Look at all this food! Mashed potatoes, my favourite! It's all mine! I'll eat it all, all alone! <laughs> but that night the wolf wasn't all alone as he thought. Hello there! Who are you? My name is Pass. What kind of name is that? Where did you get all this food? Did you steal it? Steal it? Of course not. I just borrowed them. I'll eat everything on the plates and then return them. Uh, I'm basically doing them a favor, you know, <laughs> cleaning the plates. It seems like you're ruining New Year's Eve for someone. Ah. New Year's Eve is just an ordinary day. They get over it. Could you get over it? Uh, get over what? Your train. Which train? Come on, I'd like to take you somewhere. But I was gonna eat. Oh. Oi, what a cute little wolf. Do you recognize him? Um, it's me. I am I'm, I'm so adorable! Don't you think so? Look, watch closely. My mom got me a train! Choo choo choo! Choo choo choo! And then what happened? I left the room for a second and never saw my choo choo train ever again! It was gone! 
I want you to think about what you've just seen. Otherwise, it might be too late. It may be too late if I don't think. What does that even mean? No one said anything when they took everything from me. The wolf kept opening the baskets enthusiastically, but he couldn't shake off the things he'd seen. Anyway, presents! Nothing can bring me down right now. It's all mine! Lie, 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 lie! But once again, Wolf wasn't alone. Hi there! The past again? Is that you? I'm not the past, I'm the present. Aren't you one good-looking wolf? What will happen after you eat all this food? I'll no longer be hungry. Come on, I'd like to take you somewhere. But I don't want to go! Ah! Where are we? Lily Stiles, they can see us. Why is she crying? Don't cry, sister. All the decorations and the food are gone. What are we going to do? We still have nuts. We can build a fire, play games, and eat the nuts. And what about the presents? Hmm. We can draw cool pictures for each other. Hey, <laughs> would you draw a picture for me? No. Okay, don't draw then. What will happen after you eat all this food? I, I don't know. It'll be kind of boring, I guess. But I'll be full. Do you think it'll be worth it? If you don't, then it will be too late. So they will have a lot of fun together, huh? The wolf got a little upset, but he kept on opening the baskets. Presents! I can have fun unwrapping them! <laughs> Hi there, wolf! What are you doing here, old man? I'm the future! Your future! It seems that you and I still got in the future, though! Yes, we do! Unfortunately, we're alone. Really? Just look at the basket. Ah, stockings! Look at what's written on them. Stylish, genius, athlete, wolf. Wow, wolf, that's me! Come, there's something else I need you to see. Wow, what? Where are we? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll fall down! I, I... Take it easy, you won't fall down. Okay, okay. Look, that's the farm in the future. Another New Year's celebration, they're counting down. Seven, Seven six, 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 five, five four. four. They look so happy. They're happy, having fun. It's so nice. And where are you? I'm not there. Look. Be quiet. There's an old man in this house. New Year's... Nah. I want to sleep. You didn't even bother to invite me. Let's get back. The wolf couldn't help but feel upset about the things he had seen. So, I'll be a lonely, grumpy and boring old wolf. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> you can return the food. You can take the presents back. And you can join them. Don't you think they're mad at me? They must be mad. They must be furious. They may not talk to you at all. Well, you're helping a lot right now. But they're your friends. I'm sure they'll forgive you. They will, won't they? Then I should take everything back. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I have a better idea. Help me, guys. The wolf kept on emptying the baskets as the past, present and future watched him in confusion. I said help me. With the help of the three ghosts of New Year's Eve, the wolf decorated the house and a beautiful tree and set up an amazing table. 
He then placed the presents under the tree. Don't open your eyes! Not yet! Okay, Wolf. I'm not looking. Are you ready? Yes! Open your eyes! Wolf! Did you do all this? Yes! I wanted to surprise you! My dear friend, this is amazing! New Year's party at my house! <laughs> You're the best, Wolf! The wolf admitted his mistakes and had a wonderful New Year's Eve with his friends. That day, artists couldn't stand still because of excitement. Yay! I'm so excited! She was going to paint with her friend Zebra, only using shades of red. What a great idea! We can paint everything red. I can paint beautiful flowers, or paint a beautiful autumn landscape, or maybe I'll draw shapes. Artist wanted to check her materials one last time before she left the house. My brushes are here. Here's my palette. My canvas is here. Here's my white paint. My red paint. Uh, what? Where? Here? Not here! Suddenly, someone appeared behind her. Artist, artist! Zebra! What's wrong? Red. I don't have red paint. Neither do I. Couldn't find any. Who could have taken it? Artists noticed red drops on the floor. I think we can find out who took our paints if we follow the tracks over there. Two friends followed the drops of red paint that led to the wolf's house. They found him with a bucket of red paint in his hand, painting the roof. Hi guys, how are you? We're not so happy. Wolf, you got our paint. Give it back now. How is it yours? I found this at your door. It seemed to me you had disposed of it. No, we're going to use it. It's too late. This paint is mine. I need to paint my roof. I have some important guests tonight. Give us back our paint. Impossible. It's ours. Impossible! At least not today! Not today? When? Um, uh, well, uh, <laughs> when it snows red. <laughs> red snow? There's no such thing as red snow. I'll give you back the paint when we get red snow, I promise! <laughs> You'll see. I know what to do. Two friends hit the road again and arrived at the Snow Queen's castle. Hello, Snow Queen! Hello, artist. Hello, Zebra. What are you doing here? Artist explained what had happened, so she asked the Snow Queen for help to make red snow. Red snow, huh? You can do it right. Of course she can. She's a snow queen. The thing is, this job is a bit more difficult than you might think. How so? But it can be done. Hooray! First, we need some red paint. That's right. We don't have red paint. So let's collect all the red fruits we can find. Together they set out for the gardens. I'm picking raspberries. I'm picking cherries. Then I'll pick pomegranates. The three
three of them dived into the garden separately. They picked so much fruit until their baskets were full. That will be enough. Hooray! The wolf will be surprised. Let's start by mashing the raspberry first. Artis filled the fruits into a bucket and started crushing them. Okay, that's enough. Let's try it now. Casting a spell, the Snow Queen sent the juices from the buckets onto the sky and then it started raining. Yes, it's red. But it's not snow, it's rain. The most delicious rain I've ever tasted. I managed to make it rain on the first try. Let's try one more time. Zebra and Artis crushed cherries this time. The Snow Queen once again sent the juice onto the clouds, but she tried to blow it this time. Ouch! This is not snow! Neither is rain! Yes, it's hail! At least a very tasty one! Let's try one more time. We're getting closer and closer. Artist and Zebra crushed the pomegranates this time. I hope it works this time. The Queen lifted the water into the air and blew it. She then commanded the wind with her hand and finally red snow started to fall. Hooray! It worked! It's snowing red. Hooray! You'd better go before we run out of juices. Now the wolf will see what it means to take our paint. Together, they set out for the wolf's house. Yikes! What's that? What's going on? Artist, red snow is falling. Do you see? Oh, mommy! It's also very tasty. No, 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 no! Don't eat it! Don't eat it! What's going on? I, I. Now you can return our paint, right? Of course, take it. Please take it now. I'm sorry. I will never take anything without permission again. But how can red snow be falling? The Snow Queen, of course. What's wrong? You look scared. But, but, this is unfair. Yay, now we can paint. But my roof is unfinished. My very important guests were coming in the evening. I wanted my house to look beautiful. I should have asked you for the paint. Then you would have shared it with me. Don't worry, Wolf. Look, your house already looks beautiful. Wow! It looks really beautiful. Thank you very much, my queen. <laughs> it was a beautiful day on the farm. But Wolf was bored. So he went to the farm to check out the notice board to see what was new. Mm, a house for sale. No, my house is beautiful. Gazelle's cookies. Uh, I can't afford it. Hello, Wolf. What are you doing? Hello, genius. I was bored, so I thought I'd look at the postings. Is there anything worth looking at? There's the ad for cookies, but I can't afford them. Were you planning on getting something? 
I'm here for the lost and found postings. Are lost items sold? Are they cheap? No, I'm working as a journalist. Look, this is my news page. Wow, that's nice. Who does what? The history of the farm receives, etc. Wonderful! So, what do you get when you write the news? Do they give you cookies? Sometimes they give them to me as a thank you, but my main goal is to pursue the truth. Bah! The truth doesn't fill your stomach. The excitement when you're chasing some newsworthy piece is unlike anything else. Maybe I should also be a journalist because I'm bored. Let's work together. Look, Giraffe's necklace is missing. Is it really stolen? If it is, who, where, when, how, why? Ah, I can't deal with this. I go get the receipt for these cookies. You write your own page and I'll write mine. Stop, Wolf. You don't know how to be a journalist yet. <laughs> I'm sure I can do this job better than you. Don't be overconfident, Wolf. Are you up for a bet? In a week, the journalist with the most followers wins. For what? For what? For cookies! Chocolate cookies! Agreed. Genius and Wolf went after what they thought was the most interesting news. Genius wanted to solve the mystery of the lost necklace. And Wolf... Gazelle! Can you give me the receipt for your cookies? Ah, uh, no way, Wolf. Why not? Wolf, leave me alone, please. Look at that. This is the way she treats a journalist. She will see. Gazelle gives away three boxes of cookies to all her guests. On the other hand, Genius was following a real piece of news on another corner of the farm. Yes, dear farm folks. According to the information I got from Giraffe, she last saw her necklace three days ago. Whoever took the necklace left some footprints behind. Together with the security guards, we will solve this mystery. Let's see who these footprints belong to. Then Dreamer comes crying to Genius. What's wrong, Dreamer? <laughs> Look at Wolf Road. What did he do? Is that your picture? Yes, I was painting something as a surprise for Mom. Well, it's very nice. But look at the title. Who will Dreamer gift this ugly painting to? What is this? Don't be sad, Dreamer. The painting is beautiful. But it will no longer be a surprise. Everyone saw it. Let it be. I'm sure Mum will still love it. Oh, look at the other news articles by Wolf. Did the zebra steal the tiger's stripes? Chickens throw stones at visitors to avoid sharing their eggs. I'm the strongest on the farm, said Tiger. These articles cannot be true. Oh, Wolf, he's not writing truthful news, so he can win the bet. He's going to get into trouble. There's nothing I can do. I'm going to follow my own news. I'd better take my painting to Mom. Genius went to the police. He showed them the footprint photos he had taken. The police told him who they suspected. Genius interviewed the suspects. took pictures and continued his research. 
Meanwhile, Wolf was at home. Journalism is so easy! Let me think. Goose uses fabric softener to soften its feathers. <laughs> I'm awesome! The mold started a protest to be included in the Chinese calendar. Who is it? Wolf, what have you done? You shouldn't be angry just because my follower account has surpassed yours. But you're not reporting the truth. Of course not. I don't have time to run around all day. But Wolf, this is so wrong. Don't make a fuss. I have more followers than you. Did you even find the necklace? Yes, I did. It was elephant. <laughs> wow, breaking news. Beware of the thief, elephant! Stop, Wolf! This is censorship! Our right to get the news cannot be blocked! Actually, Elephant didn't steal the necklace. Giraffe had dropped it. So, when Elephant stepped on it, he got stuck on his foot. He wasn't even aware of it. He also apologized. Ah, that's a boring story. My story is much better than yours. Wolf, Wolf, open, open the, door. the door! You published my cookie recipe without my permission! You're slandering me! Open the door and I'll show you the thief! Mommy! Everyone on the farm has read my news! Of course! <laughs> it was a joke! What are we going to do now? I think I have an idea! Breaking news! Wolf escaped through the back door. What? Let me take a picture of you. Mommy! It was a beautiful morning on the farm and Wolf had gone fishing. I will make grilled fish for lunch and fish soup for dinner. Mm, oh my! Suddenly a frightening noise coming from the forest startled him. What was that? This isn't something I've heard before. The noise echoed through the trees again. It is not a bear or a lion. I better keep my distance. The noise scared Wolf, but also made him upset. Could it be an injured tiger? Feeling anxious, Wolf walked towards the noise. He got closer and closer. What is that? A calf? Hey kiddo, you fell into a pit? Where is your mom anyway? Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm coming down there. Oh, ouch! You're such a heavy baby! Come on! Help me a little! Yeah, 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 there, yeah, there we go! Alright, you're free now! Go to your mom! Wolf began walking toward the river, but someone followed him. Stop following me! Hey, shoo shoo! Shoo shoo shoo! Moo moo moo! Wait 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 wait! Don't cry! I'm not your mom. That's why you should go to your mom. Me me! All right, uh, all right. You can take along. Maybe I will teach you how to fish. Then we can cook together. I know a place with great walnuts. Hey, 
Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't you be my pupil? I can teach you everything I know, like how to fish and take eggs and all the sheep. Oh, we'll make a great team. No one can stop us. Patience is the trick. You have to wait. This is just the beginning. Wait, what are you doing? Hey, you are the best. Now it's time for the egg hunt. Being stealthy is the trick. You should tiptoe. The calf tried to imitate Wolf but tripped and fell. Oh no, she's going to get caught. I have to save her. Oh look how cute she is. Are you here for some eggs? There you go. Well done, girl! Now I will teach you how to be a great wolf. You must howl. Oh! <coughs> Not moo! Almost there. Ooh. We will get there with practice. Wolf took care of the calf. He cleaned her, fed her, read her bedtime stories. But the calf wasn't happy. What's wrong with you? Come. A little mischief will cheer us up. Wolf and the calf set out for the farm. Hey there, Wolf. How are you? I'm all right, Stylish. We'll play a prank on the elephant. Hey, who's this beauty? She is my new pupil. And her name is... Um... Uh, 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 Moo. What's up with her? I had no idea, Stylish. I bathed her, provided a warm bed, and even cooked some delicious fish soup for her. Fish? But she's a calf. So? Calves eat grass and hay. What? <laughs> I would never feed my pupil such things. Have you ever taken her for a run? Why would she run? Nobody is chasing her. Well, cows like to graze and run in the meadows. No way. She likes to fish with me. Are you sure? Look how unhappy she is. Hey, leave Moo alone. I'm taking very good care of her. Wolf, I think she misses her mom. Her mom? I'm being a good mother to her. We have to take her to the barn and find out where she came from. What? You'll take her away from me? Not in a million years. Come on, Wolf. Would you like her to be unhappy? I'll get her cross and hay, and I will even take her to the meadow. Wolf! Fine. Let's go to the barn. I want her to be happy. No! When she fell into the pit, I went to get help. But when I came back, she was gone. Thank you so much for bringing my daughter back to me. Um, hold on a minute. Tell me, what do cows eat?
Well, um... Aha! She's not a cow! What do you mean, Wolf? She's a cow! Don't worry! They live on the neighboring farm! You can visit her anytime! Of course! Visit us anytime! You guys can play together! <coughs> well... Then... See you, kiddo! They, they grow up so fast! Everyone on the farm woke up to a very nice day and the fresh air brought joy to everyone. After awakening from a deep sleep, delicious breakfasts were prepared. Athlete was on her morning run. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Athlete! 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 Calm down, Wolf. What's the matter? Save me! From who? From the untrue words that I spoke! Oh, Wolf. Again? What did you say? R Ruffle, my beautiful she-wolf, my little daisy, my honey bunny. Did something happen to Ruffle? Uh, what happened to Ruffle? Who did it? Nobody did anything. She's stronger than you. She can protect herself. That's the point. Ruffle is a little bit stronger than me. And I wanted to show her how strong I am too. <laughs> Anyway, let me get through there. So? I tried to lift the rock and I couldn't lift it. I tried long jump, but it wasn't successful. Then when Ruffle started laughing, I said, I'm the best athlete in the world, but my proficiency is different. Well, what's your proficiency in sports? I don't know, athlete. I'm familiar with five sports, but I'm not good at any of them. You'll find soon enough. But Wolf, how can we know? My dear athlete, you're the most muscular of the goats, the most agile of the horned animals, the most ethical of the hooded animals. Would you help your friend? Oh, Wolf, whatever is happening to you comes from not telling the truth. I just wanted to impress Ruffle. Okay, calm down. I will do my best. I also want to try some sports that I haven't tried yet. Athlete immediately took Wolf to the training ground and asked him to wear the clothes hanging on the wall. Come on, Wolf. Uh, are we going to a masquerade ball? These are candy clothes. Is it a dress board? <laughs> Mommy, what are you doing? Kendo is a sword sport. This is a sword, huh? This is just a stick. Yikes! Defend yourself, Wolf! Oh, uh, stop! Should I do this? Uh, attack wolf! You great wolf! You're fighting really well! Uh, oh, mommy! Oh, I... Wolf! Stop! Uh, I guess this sport is not for me! Yes, wolf. Let's try something else. This time, athlete and wolf made their way to a stadium. A stick again? I don't want to get hurt anymore. This is a different kind of stick. Should I throw it away? No, Wolf. This is the pole vault. Look, watch me now. Run. 
Put the pole down on the ground and jump up. I can do it! I can do it! Run! Put the pole down! Mommy! <laughs> Let go of the pole, Wolf! I'll hold you! You can't hold me, athlete! I'm stuck here! My hands are slipping! <laughs> Let go! I got you! What if we try sport? We can do on the ground! Let's go to the ice rink! Athlete and Wolf went to the ice rink. What is this? Are you going to make me clean? This is a curling delivery stick. Find anything that had nothing to do with sticks. You'll make the ice slippery with this. Uh, like this? Yeah. Athlete, are you sure you didn't make me clean the rink? No, Wolf. Curling uses special stones. Someone throws it. Others sweep the ice so that the stone travels farther. Get ready, I'm throwing it. Oh my, I can do that. Clean wool, clean it. Polish, shine, polish, shine. Come on, Wolf, almost done. My arms hurt. What would happen if I hit the stone like this? No, Wolf, what did he do? Maybe I'm a very good golfer. Let's try. Golf, skydiving, volleyball, basketball, athlete and Wolf tried all the sports they could think of, but Wolf was unsuccessful. I'm sorry. I'm tired and I'm done. My arms, my legs, my back. No, Wolf, don't give up yet. We still haven't tried horseback riding. Your mind is working, but we still haven't found a sport that will impress Raffle. <laughs> That's it! Actually, you're pretty smart. Yes, I am. Come with me. What's going on? Are we here for tea? No, Wolf. We will play chess. Athlete, it's chess a sport. Of course it is! Intelligent sport! Impossible! Hello, guys! Are you playing chess? Well, we haven't started yet! There's nothing cooler than smart guys, right? Yes, of course! The smart ones are so cool! I was teaching athlete how to play chess. It's an intelligent sport! I would love to learn, too! Then I will teach you! Athlete was about to leave. Was I? You're awesome, Wolf! I am, and I. Thank you. It was a day when everything went wrong for Musician. Bad luck again! Now how do I remove this stain? Ouch! My head! Musician! Musician! Finally the day has come! Musician opened the door. The wolf was thrilled. Musician, you'll become famous today. You'll be the most famous musician on all the farms. Uh, don't remind me, Wolf. Where? Why aren't you excited? Everything that could go wrong today has gone wrong. Hmm, so it's an unlucky day. We can't afford to be unlucky today, musician. You're going to be on the radio today. 
I know, Wolf. Today is the day when everyone will hear your music! Well, I dropped my guitar. What about the drum? Oh, ah, uh, my. Uh, oh, Wolf. Oh, oh, I guess you can't take the drum anymore. Everything is set. I can't ask them to postpone it for another day. Do not fear, Wolf is here. I'll bring your good luck back. Wait here! I still have the flute and the violin. Musician changed his outfit and tried to calm down. Then he left the house with his violin and flute in tow. At that moment, Wolf came back. Wolf, stop! What are you doing? <laughs> Rabbit's food! It brings luck! Use it! Use it! Achoo! We must fight against the strike of bad luck! Achoo! Wh what's wrong with you? Why are you blushing? I'm allergic to rabbit hair. Ah, uh, you're so weird. Well, I hope my allergy attack goes away by the time of the broadcast. Don't worry. Achoo! Uh, wait, 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 wait. You're going to trap them. Let me carry. Be careful, Wolf. Musician, do you think I can play the violin? Of course, if you work at it, why not? Ouch! The string is broken. Wolf! It's okay, it's okay. I'll fix it in a minute. It can't be fixed, Wolf. If we only have the flute left, please let this day end. I don't want anything else to happen. I'll find you a new string right away. Wolf leaves again. Musician was sad and patiently continued on his way. Ta-da! Your savior has come! A new rabbit? No! I brought a string! Oh, Wolf! You're great! Thank you! Take it! Look! Wolf, this is an electric wire. I can't use it on my violin. Really? That's weird. Thanks for trying anyway. Don't get discouraged, musician. I was well prepared for today. I wanted it to be a special day. Uh, are you allergic to clover? No, why? Here you go! Something to brighten your day! Oh, a four-leaf clover? Wolf, thank you so much! You're welcome! Besides, if you become famous, we can eat as many eggs as we want every day, right? You glutton! <laughs> no, I'm hungry! What if you pluck an apple from here? Oh, uh, hop! Uh, no, 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 I'm not tall enough! Come on my shoulder, musician! Okay, but be careful! Look, we've had enough misfortunes today! Don't worry, we have a four-leaf clover. A little to the right, a little to the left. I got it. Oh, juicy. <laughs> juicy. Let me get one for myself. Hold on, Wolf. Oh, no. Ouch. Oh no! Are you okay? Are you okay? My hand, uh, I may have sprained my ankle too. 
Oh, really? Does it hurt a lot? Now I'll have to play the food one-handed. What are we going to do now? Let's not go. I promised my friends that I would be there. I can't back down now. I need to find a stronger lucky charm. Wait for me. Okay, go and let me wallow in my self-pity. Oh, oh, you unlucky goat. Just wait here. The wolf leaves again. Musician arrived at the radio station. Embarrassed, he took out his flute from the bag. He would have to play the flute as best as possible with one hand. I'm ready, guys. Meanwhile, the wolf found another lucky charm. <laughs> horseshoe! Horseshoe! Musician, open the door! I found a horseshoe! Actually, it's a zebra shoe. Musician, open the door! Musician could not hear because he had the headphones on. I wish something happened so we could delay today's broadcast. Musician! Can you hear me? You can't be famous if luck isn't on your side! Wait, that's mean we won't eat eggs every day if Musician doesn't become famous. Should I hand the horseshoe to him? Just as Musician was about to start his song, Wolf twirled the horseshoe and threw it away. Mummy! Ah, oh, we lost power! Musician! Musician! The horseshoe worked! There's no electricity! Thanks, Wolf! <laughs> Sorry I'm laughing, but <laughs> what an unlucky day! Maybe someday, when luck is on your side, you will become famous! But for now, we saved the day! <laughs> the residents of the farm woke up to a day full of love. Birds were chirping and bees were buzzing. Even the sun seemed brighter in the sky. And unlike other days, the wolf was very cheerful that day too. La 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 Birds, insects, clouds, everyone hear me! The wolf loves ruffle! La 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 The wolf was holding a bouquet of flowers in his hand to tell Ruffle that he loved her. Ruffle, hear me out! Wolf, you... Hi, Wolf. I what? Uh, Wolf, you, um, Wolf, you, um... So? He here, these are for you. Oh, are these flowers for... What is it? I thought it was flowers. My ruffle, flowered wither. I brought you walnuts and hazelnuts. You can crush them and eat them. Well? Uh, what's the matter, Ruffle? Didn't you like it? Uh, should I bring fruits? Give these nuts to the squirrels. Don't bother me anymore. <laughs> Ruffle, please don't go. <laughs> Ruffle left enraged. The day was no longer beautiful for the wolf. The birds stopped singing and the clouds turned grey. <laughs> wolf, what's wrong? Are you okay? It's Valentine's Day, but nobody loves me. <laughs> oh, I love you, Wolf. Besides, many of us love you. But, but a ruffle does not love me. <laughs> what happened? Did you do something to upset her? 
She didn't like my gift. Hmm, interesting. I had everything planned out for today. First, we would have had a picnic and looked at the clouds, then would have gone to the lake and fish and ended the day with a romantic movie in the evening. I know how to help you find a girlfriend. Who can you find? Inventor grabbed the wolf's arm and took him to her workshop. What are we doing here? Are we going to fix something? Fix my broken heart, maybe? <laughs> no, Wolf. Look! Yikes! What is it? This is my robot. Hello. Did it talk to me? Yes. I can make it look like Ruffle by making a few minor changes to it. Here it is! Wow! Just like Ruffle! Hello! Why does she talk like that? Hmm, it wasn't supposed to be like this. Hello, Wolf! Yes, indeed! May I ask one more thing, Inventor? Sure, Wolf! Well, I... <laughs> well, I... I want her to love me. C can you do that? After thanking Inventor, the wolf took the robot with him and left the workshop. Wow! These nuts are awesome! They're actually not that awesome, but I'm glad you like them! This is the most delicious thing I have ever eaten in my life! That's because you've never eaten anything before. <laughs> so anyway, let's have a picnic. Picnic? My favorite activity. The real Ruffle wouldn't be this excited. The real Ruffle doesn't know what she's missing. It's great to spend time with you. The wolf and the robot arrived at the picnic area. Although the wolf was very excited at first, he was slowly getting annoyed because everything she did was fake. Wow, look at the clouds, wolf. They are marvelous. Ah, they're just clouds. Mwah. Everything is so good when I'm with you. Sure, sure. Anyway, I'm done with the picnic anyway. Uh, let's go to the lake. At least we'll eat fish. Hooray! My fav! Favorite activity. I know. Uh, this fake loaf is too boring. I'm not happy at all. The wolf and robot Ruffle arrived at the lake. The wolf went in the lake in hopes of catching a fish. Come to me, fish. Do you want some fish? I can catch one for you. The robot went into the lake. But when water and electronics come in contact... Wolf! 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 I love you, wolf, 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 wolf. Uh, what happened to this robot? Don't love me, don't love me. We will be together forever. Beautiful wolf, handsome wolf. Don't get close, I said don't get close, uh, stop. We will hug. We will never leave each other. We will hug. We will never leave each other. Help me! Somebody help me! Save me! No one but me can hug my wolf. Of course no one! Hmm. Am I your wolf? Of course. Whose wolf would you be? Restarting. Hello. 
Look at that inventor. She really found me a girlfriend. <laughs> Then we'll cook dinner together. Ruffle, my ruffle. At your command, of course, of course. <laughs> the moon glowed in the night and stars were twinkling. It was bedtime for everyone on the farm. Yes! And that's it! Artist was happy because she had finished a beautiful painting. She was about to go to bed when somebody knocked on the door. Who is this so late at night? Artist, are you awake? Officer? Panda? What's wrong? Is everything okay? It's a disgrace, an outrage. Something terrible happened, Artist. You have to come to the museum right now. Artist was worried and went to the museum at once with Officer Duck and Panda. Ah, the exhibition was tomorrow, right? Well, yes, it was supposed to be tomorrow, but... be able to see all the paintings. Don't celebrate just yet, Artist. Look at the paintings closely. At first, Artist didn't quite get what was going on. Then she looked carefully and figured out the big problem. The food! All the food in the picture is gone! Exactly. But how could this happen? We have no idea. Can you help us? Of course, but how? We will find out where the food went. Could somebody have arranged it? We wouldn't be seeing the empty plates and tables if this was the case. Yeah, it's as if... Well, this is impossible. As if what? It's as if someone got inside the pictures and stole all the food. Is that possible? Yes, it's possible for inventor. Wait for me. Inventor! 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 Wake up! Artist, what is going on, sis? Is everyone all right? All the food in the exhibition picture was stolen. What? How? Who stole it? And how? Wait a second. It was Wolf. Wolf? Yes, he came yesterday, looked at this painting and said, I would love to be in it. And you built a machine for him to get inside the paintings? Yeah, he was a bit down. I thought that would lift his spirits. Oh, Wolf, who knows where you are now? The exhibition is tomorrow, right? Yes, but we must find him and put all the food back before all the guests arrive. Artist and inventor searched for Wolf in the dark of night. They checked his home, the riverbank, and everywhere he liked to visit. Artist, did you find out what happened to the pictures? Wolf found a way to get inside the paintings and stole the food. Wow, he really did that, huh? We've checked everywhere but couldn't find him. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? I don't remember a wolf being in this picture. Me neither. Hey, it's Wolf! Get back here, Wolf! Oh no, they got me! Hey, 
Hey, he's running away! There he is! Wolf, get back here! I'm hungry! No way am I letting go all of this great food! Stop! He got away again! What's going on? Huh? Wolf! Don't move! That bull is furious! He might hurt you! What do I do? Get out! But what about my food? My mom will cook the most delicious food for you, I promise! Promise? I promise! Then here I come! Oh, Wolf, what did you do again? They looked so delicious. I couldn't help myself. Now we will put all of it back. Now the apples. Oh, my sweet apples. Cheese over there. No, no, I don't want to give back the cheese. Come on, Wolf. Artist and Wolf jump between paintings and put all the food back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. my food, my feet. Oh! Why did you take the sunflowers? Put them back. I thought we could eat some sunflower seeds. Oh, thank you so much, artist. Yeah, whatever. Let's see all the delicious food you promised me! Artist, tell your mum to bring the food to the police station because Wolf is going to be there. First, you have to pay for what you did. A punishment? Nobody said anything about a punishment! <laughs> hey, I have an idea! Get me out of here, artist! <laughs> Wolf's painting attracted a lot of attention. Thanks to him, the exhibit was a huge success! What kind of punishment is this? <laughs> 